Hi, boys and girls. We are continuing to analyze different text and look and see how we can learn from the text by looking closely and thinking about what we're reading. And we've learned lots and lots and stuff. I'm not gonna repeat everything, but I am gonna remind you of the last few things. So we've just recently learned about how sometimes authors will include humor or funny things in the story to make it more interesting to you. Um, they might also include sound words, just makes it seem a little more realistic and funny. We also learned that sometimes the author will talk directly to the reader. That kind of helps bring you in and make you part of the story and it keeps it interesting. And it's a, good, it's a good thing for you to notice when the author is doing that. Because if you do notice it, then you're being a good analyzer. You're paying attention and analyzing the story by noticing that. This is another thing. Today we're gonna talk about how the illustrations help the reader. This is a question I ask you guys all the time. I ask you how the illustrations or the pictures helped you. I ask you that in reading Zooms after we read a story. This is one of the questions I always ask you. When we do these reading tests, when you read at the end of the book, I almost always ask you, how did the illustrations help you? Okay, so I'm going to show you how illustrations help you so you can answer those types of questions better and be better at analyzing how the illustrations are helping you. Okay, so let's start off with this book, Goodnight Gorilla. I'm pretty sure I've shown you this book before, but I want you to look closely up at the illustrations because we're gonna notice how they help you. So this book, first of all, is mostly a wordless book. Goodnight Gorilla. Now, right away, the words are only saying Goodnight Gorilla. So if that's all you knew, you would have no idea what's happening. You wouldn't know the gorilla was at the zoo. You wouldn't know who was saying goodnight gorilla. And you definitely would not know that the gorilla is stealing the zookeeper's keys. You know all of that because of the pictures, don't you? The next page, there are no words. So you would not know what else is happening. But because of the pictures, you know that the gorilla used the key to break out. And you know that he is following the zookeeper or the zoo security guard. Good night, elephant. So if that's all you heard, you would not know that the gorilla is walking past the elephant. You would not notice that the elephant has a little stuffed animal that looks just like him. Good night, lion. If that was only the words, if there were no pictures, you would not know that the gorilla had let the elephant out, and that he was letting the lion out. You would not know any of those things. So the pictures in this book are really telling the whole story. They are telling you what is happening, what the gorilla is doing. They're really telling the story. So this one, the illustrations are telling the, pretty much the whole story. That's a big one. Okay, look at this one. Ugh, another one of my favorite books. I want my hat back. I'm gonna reread part of it, and then I want you to notice how the illustrations are helping. My head is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? No, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thank you anyway. All right, I'm stopping on this page. I hope you know why I'm stopping on this page. The bear has just asked the rabbit if he has seen his hat. If there were no pictures, we would not know that the rabbit was wearing the hat. We would not know. We would not know that he stole it and that he is being sneaky. We would not know in this point in the story, when the bear is describing the hat and saying it is red and pointy, we would not 
we would not realize, oh, the rabbit has it. We wouldn't know that. The only reason we know that is because of the pictures, okay? The pictures are telling you, the reader, who has the hat before the bear even realizes it because he's like not paying attention, okay? So how do the pictures help you? They gave you a clue when the bear wasn't watching. Okay, that's how the pictures helped you there. Okay, this is a portion of a book. This is a how-to book. Remember, I used this as an example when we were talking about writing a how-to book. So in this book, it's teaching you how to make lemonade. This is a teaching book. This is a nonfiction book. So here are the words say, roll and cut the lemons, squeeze the lemons. Okay, well, if you don't know what they mean by roll the lemons, maybe you think you need to take the lemon like a bowling ball and like roll it like this. Maybe you don't really know what they mean. The picture shows you. No, you need to put your palm like this and you need to roll it like this. Maybe you don't know how to squeeze. Maybe you think you just go like this. No, you need to use this tool and push down and turn, okay? Pictures help all the time. You know this because you write books and you think about the pictures that you're gonna add, don't you? You plan and you make the pictures a certain way on purpose to help the reader. Well, the author does that too. You're just being the author, okay? So here the author is helping or the illustrator is helping you know how to do the process in this teaching book, okay? So I'm gonna be giving you a book and I want you to look at it and uh, I'll try to get one that listens, you know, that you can listen to and see, flip through the pages. And I, I want you to tell me how the pictures are helping you understand the story because this question can be asked in almost every single book. A teaching book, a fiction book, the pictures are always helping you somehow. I just need you to recognize how they're helping you. There are some examples better than others for sure. But tell me how the book I put on the student page is helping you, how the, how the pictures are helping you understand the story, okay?